you know, I think sometimes it ends up getting paid out of the fund balance, but that assumes there's a carryover and then it eats into what is available for the next year. Well, I think that we're going to have to, in a sense, go back to the drawing board because that's, I mean, that's significant when we're having a parking lot discussion of 50,000, 4,000, 40,000 small, rather small items in comparison to just identifying yet another shortfall, if you will, in terms of the budget. I mean, it's just the way it turned out. We're just getting the information. That's just how that is. But we're, we still have to deal with it. I mean, if this is the final budget process, absent the state's budget, of course, but if this is it for us, then I think these are, these are internal numbers that we have to know and we have to work with, you know, the state budget issue notwithstanding. So I think that we need to, you know, the board's going to have to, you know, really fully address this issue. Thank you. Supervisor Pinches. Meredith, are you familiar with this sheet that I had distributed from last year? Yeah. Christy? Yes. Can I draw your attention to that? On, on the per amortization schedule at the, for the accelerated payoff amounts at the bottom of the sheet? Now, this was what was given to us last year. Last year, it said the teeter interest was 776. There's a note up there to the right. Mm -hmm. But anyways, our... How much are we paying on a teeter in this budget right this year? Let's get back to the basics here. In, in 08, 09, what's in our budget that we're paying? 200. The I believe total. it's $200,000 toward No, the I'm, it says here this, I'm going by this projection. It says projection for the next seven years with accelerated payoff amounts. 2008, 09, it's. We're two, supposed to be paying $2,450,000 if we go by the amortization schedule as it is. Okay, what's, in the, what's in the budget? The four point four million five hundred fifty thousand no it gets skewed because of the revenues that are now being credited to that particular budget unit so there there's there's extra money that's going in there yeah but I mean how are we are we on track on this amortization no. schedule no 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 well I thought I thought this is what we decided on last year was to go by this amortization scale. Well, we did, except that $500,000 was taken away from the teeter payment and given to contingencies um, so that the full payment wasn't supposed to have been made last year. And this 13-5 this doesn't have the current year payment in it either yet. I'm still not closed. So we really don't know exactly where we are. Well. So. Well. Let me bring. Why don't we make a motion to do away with the word teeter? <laughs> Let me bring it back to the real world. <laughs> Let me bring it back to real dollars and cents and what five hundred thousand means, and I believe that is uh, three furlough days for all employees except public safety, correct? Yes. Law enforcement, et cetera, et cetera. So let's start with that question. And I want to hear discussion of the board. Do we go with the planned amount that's in the budget now of 200000 right? Or do we buck it up to 700000 and we put the word out there that we're going to furlough everybody for three days to make up that difference? How about that for a discussion? And then we can move on to the remainder of the parking list. Supervisor. Mr. Chairman. We're so close on this budget. I don't think we need to go into furloughs and whatnot this time. You know, we have a really competent staff in our CEO's office. If they can't go back and further review a $220 million budget plus and come back and, and balance the books at probably a thirty to $50,000 figure, then, you know, I have more confidence in them to be and do that. Why, why don't we, you know, this isn't, we're not adopting this budget today. Let's give them a week or two to come back. I mean, my God, they've, they've, they've done the, the, the percentage cutbacks and worked all this work, and now we're down to talking the thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Why don't we let them do their job and come back? And, and I, but I think there's a couple of policy decisions. Personally, I want to, I don't want to, I want to eliminate the $25,000 in electronic agenda. I don't think that's a priority at, at a time like this when we're talking about raiding funds or doing uh, furloughs. So I'd like to see that. And then the rest okay. of it I'd like to turn it over to Let you. me herd them cats back. <laughs> Decision is direction given either two hundred thousand towards teeter or seven hundred thousand. 
And if we go with the 700000 your comments are to leave it to staff to come up with that amount of money. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. Mr. Chairman, you know, I mean, yesterday was trust, today it's confidence. Uh, and, you know, uh, those all sound very good, but that's not really what we are working with here. And we, we're not anywhere near talking hmm. about uh, pocket change. I mean, we're talking about, oh. is it 500000 or 200000 or 700 Give or take a couple hundred thousand here or there. Well, and, and that's what I'm trying to but get I back think to. But I think it's a pretty tough sell. It will be a pretty tough sell to tell our employees that we are going to fur have fur three furlough days because we feel the need to fund something called the Teeter Fund that five years ago, with five supervisors up here, I don't think we would have been able to get one definition out of the whole group of us as, but as to what the Teeter Fund is all about and what the Teeter uh, Reserve Account uh, means and why it's important that you lose three days' work in order to have money in a different pot 